Hi, I'm Yvonne Warsaw. I'm a foster carer. I've been in the foster care system for over 20 years. I have long-term foster boys who came to me 12 years ago and I've recently got a young foster teenager, uh, a, a girl who is going to be long-term as well and stay with me. Um, it's a time now for everybody to become aware that we do need foster carers. In this country there are over 3,000 and more children in care and we are in a crisis situation where we do need foster carers and it has changed dramatically from whenever I started. We now have moved into the digital age and we are moving with the times so it is a lot more informative for foster carers and there is a lot of information out there if you just think about it go on go onto a website and check it out there's a new website uh, adoption and foster care that is so easy to use and is loaded with information and have you any advice for parents during the COVID-19 lockdown is anything to keep their kids busy and yeah well the one thing that I have done is teenagers being teenagers think that no germ is ever going to affect them and no laws or rules apply to them it's, they think that if they're still standing with their friends talking that they're doing no harm so that has been a difficulty and um, what I've done is with the boys especially who are older I've got them involved in painting the fences doing gardening helping around the garden things that I could never get them to do before and the teenage girl I've now got her into baking and I think it's just being involved as a family we are very very lucky we have a garden and we can get out and we do things together I think asking children to do things alone is the difficulty because they, they, they just lose interest whereas if everyone's involved and you work together like for instance when we cook we cook together and we all wash the dishes. One will wash, one will dry, one will put away, and one will wipe all the, the, the worktops down. And that's the way we do it. And I think that's what COVID-19 has actually shown us as a family. This rarely happens because teenagers come and go. They want food at their times. They want out with their friends. They're so, they socialize a lot. But this pandemic, keeping us all together in the house has shown us what families can do and what really matters we've actually started talking again putting aside games sitting down at the table together and and actually coming together as a family and Yvonne what got you into fostering believe it or not it was my I have two children and they're 15 years apart and the older boy was going off to university and the youngest one only three would just moved house just really was crying out for company and we, we met a, a, a neighbour who was fostering and he got friendly with the wee boy, they were the same age and Daniel thought this is the way to go, you know I want more children and he wanted a family and we were in town one day and there was a, there was a big campaign going on for fostering at the time during a fostering fortnight and it was a big red bus, the big red bus was parked in Royal Avenue and of course Daniel saw this on the side of it, could you foster? And that was it. He took my hand, led me on the bus, and we signed up. When the boys first came to me, they, they were like so young, and they just needed the different personalities, and they just needed different things in their lives, different ways of coping and dealing, and it just broke my heart. I just was challenged to do something for them, and to watch them grow, to watch them thrive over the years, to actually get into school to show what they could do and I, it was unbelievable it was brilliant for me to, to watch that but also to get the love back to know that they actually realized I could keep them safe and I was there for them and there was nothing to fear they weren't going to be let down they weren't going to be moved about it was absolutely brilliant to see and that's why they're still with me today can't don't leave when they go to university, they still want to stay at home.